Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale Fairbanks Morse H2466 Trainmaster locomotive. The Trainmaster was introduced in 1953 and served on railroads throughout the United States. My example is decorated for Southern Pacific in the scarlet and gray scheme. Southern Pacific's Trainmasters were used mainly on the San Francisco to San Jose commute run and lasted into the 1970s. Atlas offers this model in DCC ready form and with DCC and sound installed. The MSRP for the DCC ready version is $169.95. The MSRP for the version like mine with Loke Sound DCC and sound is $279.95. The paint is opaque and moderately thick, enough to soften some of the edges but not obscure the fine detail molded into the shell. All of the markings are crisp and free of voids. The tiny writing is legible with magnification. I really like the FM builder's plate near the rear of the unit. The shell has great louver and door detail, though some of the smaller details don't quite match prototype photos. Most notably, SP units 3020 and 3021 had open areas under the side walkways near the middle. The details on the model are more correct for other SP train masters. I really like the separately applied door handles on the sides of the model. The handrails are made of a flexible plastic. The stanchions are mostly straight on my model, though the front handrails don't seem to want to stay connected to the cab. The trucks have excellent detail on separate brake lines. The springs are real, which looks fantastic. They don't actually do anything, but they sure look cool. The front of the model has the correct SP light package, which is great. The number boards look too small compared to prototype photos. The class lights are not functional. Real SP train masters had small boxes under the number boards that are not present on the model. The front handrails have a drop chain and solid bar across the middle, just like the real thing. Both ends have functional drop steps. The pilots have uncoupling levers, air hoses, MU connectors, and MU hoses. The front lacks the low pilot plow that was present on SP train masters. Both ends have Accumate knuckle couplers. The rear coupler is low according to the KD height gauge. On top, the model has a nice horn casting in the correct location that seems to match prototype SP photos. The cab should have sunshades, but none are provided. The front grille is photo etched. In back, the grills on the roof are photo etched and there is fan detail underneath. The exhaust stacks would probably look better painted black on the inside. Underneath, the model has good air reservoir detail around the fuel tank. All six axles are powered and all 12 wheels pick up current. All the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model weighs a hefty 23.6 ounces. I measured 3.5 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. I'm running the model on DCC. I didn't tweak any of the settings, this is just how it comes out of the box. The headlights are directional and are controlled with the F0 key. The oscillating light is controlled with F6 and is also directional. The number boards glow slightly when the headlight is on, but there doesn't seem to be any way to operate them independently. This is a really nice model of a big transition era diesel. It runs well and sounds great. I like that Atlas has included many prototype specific details. I'm puzzled, though, over the choice of unit number 3020, since a different number would have made for a more accurate model. I'm also disappointed by the lack of the correct pilot plow in these units and the smallish number boards. At this price level, I think those things could be better, so I'm going to take a spike for that. I'm also going to take a spike for the coupler height. My final verdict is 8 out of 10 spikes.